Hi guys, this is Claudio Barba, motion designer from Brussels, Belgium. Today I will show you the updates I have done for my bar chart race script for After Effects Barba chart. Um, there are a bunch of new interesting features uh, like the full scale, the intro animation and some other interesting things. At the end of the video I will also show you how to improve uh, the final uh, render with some nice uh, effects. So let's jump into After Effects and see what's new. First of all, let me remind you that I have a discount code uh, for the uh, launch of uh, the new version. So there is a 40% discount that you uh, can uh, get uh, when you buy the, the script. I will tell about it uh, at the end of the video, so stay tuned till the end. Uh, so for the moment, let me show you what's new. So first of all, uh, we can open in After Effects uh, our script, uh, which is in the window menu, uh, the barber chart. Uh, it's a dockable script, you can put it wherever you want. Uh, I'll always put it here, I like that. And now you see that uh, the UA panel has changed a little bit uh, comparing to the older version. We have the title, still the title, which is the name of the headline that will appear on the top left of the composition. Uh, uh, then you have the duration in seconds uh, of the composition. You can uh, put 10, whatever, 30 seconds. Uh, it's in seconds. Do whatever you want. Width is the width in pixel of the composition. Bars are the number of bars that you can uh, show on the on the bar chart. It will be populated once you import the CSV file. I will show you later. Full scale and intro animation. I will show you later also what what they do. So let's click first of all on import. And let's import one CSV file. Uh, once you get the, the script, uh, you will uh, be given also some uh, CSV file to play with. So don't worry, you can have immediately fun with the bar chart rate script. So you see that once you, we have imported the, the CSV file, the title is uh, pre-filled with, the, with the, the name of the CSV file. You can still modify it at, uh, as, you, as you like it. Then uh, uh, also the number of bars uh, has been populated. Uh, here you see that uh, we have uh, in the CSV file we had uh, six columns of data, and now you can uh, still choose to to get all of the six columns or just a limited number. This is just for performance issues because I've seen that depending on your configuration as well. But uh, if you have more than 15, 20 columns. Uh, 20 bars, uh, the, the After Effects starts to slow down. It still uh, render the, the final uh, video, but yeah, it's it depends. You can still uh, use a, a smaller number when you, you play with it and you want to understand how it looks, and then you can uh, put the full number at the end. And then you have uh, so full scale and intro animation. Let's skip both of them, and I will show you what they do. So let's click on Create, and then in one, two, seconds uh, you have uh, the bar chart race uh, animation so um, intro animation just add at the beginning a small animation of two seconds this one exactly till the two seconds this is the small uh, intro animation that you can get one once the intro animation flag has been chosen and then uh, you see that the bar chart race has started. So full scale uh, means that the uh, bar with the biggest value is scaled to the hundred percent of of the of the composition. You see that it's still keeping the same uh, width while the other um, bars are calculated depending on the scale of the first one. If you uh, don't select uh, full scale, so we can do it right now. So let's unselect full scale and let's create again. This will create a new composition with still an intro animation, but the full scale is not selected. So all uh, the bars will have just their own uh, value independently of the others. So, um, once you have created the composition, you can still modify it if you don't want to create a new uh, composition to, to, to add a full scale or to modify some other things. So you can go to the config layer here on the bottom 
and then you can modify, uh, for instance, the scale. Now we have fixed sex scale, and you can modify it to dynamic scale, and this will put the full scale as, as here in the in the first um, flag. So you can still go back and forward. It's 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 calculated uh, in real time, so don't uh, worry. And you can also modify the order. So here is from biggest to smallest. You can put on the contrary on the smallest to biggest, or you can keep the no order, which is the order of the column in columns in the CSV file. In this uh, version, you can also modify the colors. Uh, uh, range, the color range of the bars so is still a random color, but you can play the two colors to, to choose a, a color between uh, between the two. So you se select the first one and then you select the second one, and the uh, system will calculate a random color between the two till you can play with these uh, two colors um, because till you find that the com the, um, the 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 final lay layout that you that you like. So uh, that's it. I have also uh, added some new features which are not visible, uh, which are performance improvements. Uh, I have changed the, the the formatting of the values. Now they are very small, so there is nothing to show. But if they are, uh, you have uh, thousands or millions or billions, uh, the formatting will be changed accordingly. Um, so not to have a uh, big numbers here, but just uh, for instance uh, 1.34 billions, and you can still have um, you can still modify some 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 features here. You can modify the title. It's, it's we are in After Effects, so you have uh, a lot of uh, sorry. Let's uh, you can still modify my title. You can modify the. Uh, the character, the font, uh, you can put whatever you you like, uh, and the colors of the background as well, uh, the the font uh, of the ears. You can add new uh, text uh, wherever you like. It's uh, uh, the nice thing uh, of uh, After Effects uh, of this script, uh, comparing to the bar chart trace uh, uh, software that you find outside. Uh, the others are based on the on a, on a web interface, and so you are still limited to to what they uh, foresee in terms of parameters. But here in After Effects, uh, you create uh, the base the basic uh, with uh, with the script, and then you can still modify whatever you like. You are the full owner of the uh, final layout. You can still add f also some effects uh, if you like. You can still choose uh, all the bars. If you want to add a shadow, you just select the bars and then go to FX effects and presets. Uh, look for drop shadow. Double click to add it, uh, and you have a drop shadow on the on the. You can add some softness. Uh, you can modify maybe the opacity a little bit more, and you see that you have a. A kind of 3D effect on the bars. So, yep, that's it for for um, the changes that I have done in this uh, in this new version. So let's go back to the most interesting part, which is maybe the discount for some of you. So how do you get the discount uh, to 40 percent? It's a 40 percent discount still available for some days. Uh, uh, so if you you have to go to the barbachart.com website uh, this is the the website uh, uh, where i sell this uh, script uh, it's hosted on uh, the gumroad platform uh, anyway so this is the final price uh, in uh, euro but you will be given the, the the price in your own currency when you click on i want this and uh, then uh, if you want the discount uh, you can go down here about here yeah you can go to this uh, link, uh, click on it, uh, and you will uh, subscribe to receive emails update uh, from uh, from me. And once you uh, subscribe, you receive two emails. The first one is to confirm your email uh, address, and the second one will contain the discount code, 40% uh, discount code that you can use in here once you click on I want this, uh, and then you will put the discount code in here. So uh, that's it uh, for uh, 
the uh, changes. I hope uh, you will find interesting to uh, to play with this bar chart trace script. Uh, I think uh, that it's a pretty powerful script uh, because you can uh, it's really working pretty well. I am uh, open to changes if you need updates or new features just let me know in the in the in the Discord group uh, or in the comments below as you as you prefer. And if you need a custom adaptation that uh, well, only for, for, for your personal projects, uh, you can still ask me. We can find an agreement on, uh, on, on do I can do uh, the project for you and just let me know what are your needs and uh, we can find uh, an agreement on how to, how to do it. So uh, if you are interested in uh, following me, uh, just click on the follow link or subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell if you want to know when I publish new videos on uh, YouTube. I publish videos more or less once a week about motion design and uh, data visualization and in, uh, mainly in After Effects, so bar charts and other kind of uh, charts. In the coming uh, weeks, uh, I will expand my uh, this bar bar chart uh, to add uh, pie charts as well. So if you still have both uh, this uh, script, uh, all the updates will be free. So don't worry, you can still buy it now, start playing with it now. And then in the coming weeks, month, uh, you will still receive um, an email alert when uh, the new version has been uh, published. So no worry. And it will be free if you have already bought uh, the license for the script. And uh, so, yeah. Subscribe still to my channel if you are interested in knowing more. Uh, put a like on the video if you liked it. Uh, so this will help me. I'm a freelance motion designer. I have no other uh, income source. So let me let me <laughs> know if you're interested in this and I will be happy to help you. So see you next week.